apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all they had done. Then, because many people were coming and going, they didn't even have a chance to eat. And he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place. And they went in a boat across the lake. And I feel like God has been pointing out that there's people that are barging on in life. You're barging on and pushing on and pushing through, just thinking this pressure, I've just got to face it head on and barge ahead. But God's pointing out that it's an illusion and the pressure that you're facing is not in front of you, it's within you. And so you won't win by pushing through something that you think is ahead when it's within. And he's saying, come aside with me somewhere quiet. And it's like when you're driving in a car park and you see a speed bump and there's no other cars there and you think, I don't have to go over this speed bump. I can just steer slightly to the right and around and off I go with no bump. And the Lord is saying, don't barge ahead and try and tackle that anymore. Come aside with me to the quiet place. And there's a passage in Song of Songs that talks about the same thing. Arise and come with me. And then talks about the beauty and the wonderful season that it is. And the Lord says that it is a wonderful season with him where wonderful things can be realized with him. But to have that season, we need to come aside and be with him in the quiet. So I just encourage you to agree in this moment. Yes, Lord, I come aside with you tonight in the quiet so that I can enter into that fruitful, wonderful season with you. And thank you, Lord, that I don't have to barge on that pressure and so Lord we pray for your help with that pressure that pressure within that pressure that we thought was something else something practical something ahead of us someone else some limitation some restriction and yet it's actually something within God would you come and reveal and pull out what it is that's bringing that pressure as we spend time with you, God. As we come to see that you are the king of kings on the throne. You are the king and that we as your child get a crown. That we as a child get a crown from you because we're now in the palace with you too. And that the crown brings joy. And so as we come aside with him and we have this space with him and we let him point out the pressures that don't need to be there anymore, we acknowledge the pressure that we've allowed within us. We can receive again as his child that crown of joy and enter into that season of fruitfulness, that season that is just wonderful with the Lord. And so, Lord, I just pray that over everyone here, this coming aside, take people, Lord, who've been in such a time of difficulty and mourning, Lord, take them through this space where they release that pressure and enter into your joy as they remember, Lord, that not only are you the King of Kings on the throne, but they, as your child, get to come in and be before you as your child. We just pray this now in Jesus' name.